All right, we're going to do Portrait Artist of the Year, episode, season two, episode three, and I will be giving my recap and also my hashtag Joe is always right, unless Joe is always wrong, and we'll see who the winner of this episode is and who I suspect will be the winner for the whole program for this season. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at the models, and if you want to play along, then you can screenshot these and paint your own. The first model is Ashley Jensen. She's an artist. She's, I mean, she's an actress. She's known for Ugly Betty and also the uh, series Extras. She's a comedian and a lot of fun. The next one is Daniela Nardini, who is an actress, and I don't know what program she is in. And the third model is named Gary Kemp. He is known, he's a songwriter and actor and known best for Spandau Ballet. I don't know what that means, but this is the only screenshot I could get of the background because I'd like you to get an idea of what the setting is. So now we'll go on and look at the different settings that they were put in. So you can take a look at that. All right, the first setting is for Ashley. She's in an unusual pose and just a blue background. Usually they set up a lot more props. On this particular episode, they didn't. But um, I'm really enjoying what she decided to wear that day. Good choice. There's a lot to get into there. And the unusual pose actually, I don't think, comes into play. I don't think anybody gets involved in that at all. The next one is Daniela Nardini. And she is set up on a lip couch. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But there's a lot of color going on here. So that's kind of fun. And I'll bet it was comfy to sit there. And we've already seen what Barry, uh, Gary Kemp was sitting on. Now let's take a look at the first reveal. Remember, there are four paintings for each one of the models. And the models get to choose one to take home. So let's look at the reveal. This is the reveal for Gary Kemp. So you get an idea of what the size of the paintings are. And this is that moment when they turn their canvases. They've had four hours to work on these different pieces. And this is the first time that Gary gets to look at them and he's gonna choose one. Now, this is his pick to take home. This is not the pick of the judges. That comes later. And they will pick one person who will go on to what they call the semifinals. So there are 12 artists working overall. Each one of the models has four people painting them at one time. So let's take a look at Gary's. This is the first one, quite serious, quite stiff. Um, wow, I've got to think, I can't even think of what to say about this one. Oh, it's a good likeness, I'll give you that. The hand is a little wonky. But I don't like to get dragged down on any one particular thing. The overall definitely works. This is the second one of Gary. They hardly show this for a second. That's one of the problems with recapping this program. Sometimes they only show like one second of somebody's work. So you can't really get a sense of what their piece was. But, uh, but this was the best I could do. And I... I always say this looks very much like watercolor, but there are no watercolorists working here. This is all either oil or acrylic. I don't, watercolorists are allowed to participate, but they're seldom, show, they seldom show up. This is the third one of Gary. Pretty unusual in terms of what they decided to do with the background. In terms of, I'm, I'm a big fan of lost and found edges. I really am. But sometimes, in this case, I feel like there might be too many lost and found edges. I don't know for sure. But, um, but I do think they got a likeness. Because remember, this is called Portrait Artist of the Year. So I think getting a certain likeness is somewhat important. And so now we've seen three of the participants. And here's the fourth. This one uh, um, looks like Conan O'Brien to me. <laughs> But art is subjective, and um, so we will move on. Now, the one that Gary chose to take home was this one that you saw earlier, 
where he sort of morphs into the background. And um, I think that was a good choice. So now we will go on and look at reveal number two. All right, here's the reveal for Ashley Jensen. I really like this painting. I wish she had put the blue in the background, but I think she has a good likeness. I think it looks really free and there's expression in the face, which I really enjoy. So I think she did a really good job. She must be very good at sketching. And the next one is also, I think has a quiet dignity that I really enjoy. There are lost and found edges. Now, Ashley did say her face in repose does look sad. Only an actress would know that. None of us regular people knows what her face looks like in repose. But she's correct. It does. She looks a little bit morose when she's just lets her, well, in America, I think we call it resting bitch face, but she's a lovely lady, so I don't want to say that. This one is um, certainly an interpretation by an artist. She's kind of made Ashley into a warrior princess, which is kind of fun. I like those kind of explosions going on in the background. That's kind of fun. Um, remember, this is portrait, paint, portrait Artist of the Year, and I can't say that she found the likeness. So given that criterion, um, I don't think she, she's going to be a contender for one of the finalists for this particular program. And the next one is kind of haunting in a way. At, when I first saw it, I didn't like it. And later in the program, they spend some time talking about it and you get a much better look of it in a, in a slightly different light. And I think it has a, a real thoughtful sort of um, mystery to it that I really enjoy. Now, remember, each model gets to choose one of these to take home. And so Ashley chose this one. So this is one that's going home with Ashley and I think she made a good choice. I think it will look, look lovely in her home. Now this particular artist shows up not in not later in this program, but in a later series. I think she comes back to Portrait Artist of the Year. And I just enjoy her painting very much. I don't remember any of these artists' names, I'm sorry. There are 12 artists to keep track of and 12 images, and it becomes kind of overwhelming. The program, when you're watching it, goes at a reasonable pace, but when you try to get these screenshots, they're just there for such a bare second. It's really hard to capture them. All right, let's go on to the third reveal. The third reveal is Daniela Nardini. The first one is, isn't really a painting. I mean, it, it certainly looks like it's a sketch of some kind. Remember, they put her in the setting with that really luscious lip couch. So um, I, did, I do think they got a likeness, which, I, as I said, I think is pretty important in this competition. It's hard for me to judge this because for me, um, I think I just have a hard time judging things that aren't paintings. The next one comes under the category of an island surrounded by oceans painting. That's when you have something that's in the middle of a great expanse of space. I need this to get anchored in. I need those shoulders to be anchored in. He didn't have to, uh, she or he didn't have to finish it necessarily, but like I said, this is what I call an island surrounded by oceans painting. And for me, the composition really suffers. It just a line would have anchored that in. And um, I would have preferred that. The next one they talked about for about two seconds. I mean, literally two seconds. I don't know that there's a likeness there. I don't have a lot to say about this painting. It's, um, well, let's give her an award for participation. I really don't know what to say about it. So let's move on. Now the next one, the next one, hashtag Joe is always right, which is not true. I'm almost seldom right, but I think this person's going to win the whole competition and certainly going to win the day. And that is because he got a likeness. And then what he did when he got near the end of the four hour time, he grabbed his brush and he slapped that red on and took his palette knife and made those scrapes. Now, the reason I think that he's going to win is yes, he got a likeness and also the artists are looking for something different. They're looking at and see a lot of good painters, but they acknowledge they want something that's different, something that they haven't seen before. And I think that those kinds of gestures will excite and make them make him stand out even more. Uh, I would like to try something like this in watercolor. I don't know that watercolor has the flexibility in terms of its medium to be able to do that. 
oil paint or uh, acrylic paint will stay soft for a while and so you can do that kind of scrape. I, I don't think, I, I just don't know how you would accomplish that in watercolor. But uh, I really do like this painting very, very much. He, and I should say, in watching him, he gritted out the entire work from a photograph before he began. So he's very accomplished. He, he certainly knows what he's doing. So, oh, and he, he, this is the one that she chose to take home with her, which I do think is, a, once again, a good choice. Now let's take a look at the judges as they're deciding who are the three paintings that are going to go on to what they call in this particular episode the semifinals. They pick three and only one can go ahead to what they call the finals, which will happen, I don't know, maybe episode seven or eight, I'm not sure. All right, let's see who the semifinalists are. The first one is the one that Ashley decided to take home. And I do agree, there's some really great shapes here and forms and depth, really lovely painting. The next one is a better shot of the one that I found and they found somewhat intriguing. And it is indeed her, her face in repose. And the next one is the one that was also selected to go home with the model. And I do think hashtag Joe is always right unless Joe, Joe is always wrong. I think he's gonna win not only this particular program, but the entire, uh, I mean this episode, but the entire program. And the winner is, dun dun dun, da. here are the three waiting to be judged. That would be excruciating <laughs> after four hours and who knows how long to get to this place and set up your paints. I would be asleep on the floor. Yes, indeed. He is going to go on to the semifinals and in a surprise, which has never happened in the program before, they chose a second winner. There are going to be two people going on to the semifinals. They found this painting so intriguing that it's going to go to so that's the end of this particular episode. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, and ask for value mixed for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.